Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the brand new Azaria canvas bag and the one I have here is in the petite size and this is their brand new collection and I can't wait to share all of my honest thoughts about it and hopefully help you guys decide if this is something you might want to check out or not. So let's get started. Okay, so let's be real. Did I really need a third Azaria petite bag? No, I did not. But there were so many things about this bag that I was just so intrigued by and I just felt like I had to get it. So obviously the first reason is that it is canvas. I have been using Azaria bags for years now and I've had the Lux full grain leather and I've had the vegan leather and it was just so interesting to me to have it in a completely different fabric altogether. I was just so drawn to that and it just feels so soft. It's so different than the leather. Now the first thing that I do want to address before I forget completely is the weight of the bag and is this lighter than the vegan leather? And the answer is no, it is not. And I was a little bit disappointed by that because that was a whole reason why I wanted to get the canvas. I was hoping it would be a lot lighter, but it's not. It's only one ounce lighter than the vegan petite bag. So they weigh about the same, but that's not necessarily something that made me want to return the bag. I mean, I don't find the Azaria vegan leather to be heavy anyway, so this just feels you know, just as light, it's fine. So I really like the canvas material and the way that it looks and the way that it feels, especially since we're heading into um, summer months. I just wanted something to have a more casual feel and I feel like this is it. And, and the second reason why I was so drawn to the bag is because it has padded backpack straps. If you guys have been with Azaria for a while, you guys know that the vegan petite bags have never had padded straps. So I am all about comfort and I just knew like I wanted this. You know, it's mesh, it's padded, it's breathable, and it does feel so good when you're carrying it. It's so comfortable. It's just, and the bag is soft and it's just really nice. And so here it is comparison. This is my Bone Vegan Leather. And you guys see the backpack straps are different. And I just really enjoy the padded straps a lot more. That's just my preference. And then the third reason why I just, Loved it so much when I saw it is the color. Um, it is very similar to Bone. I feel like the lightness, but I just really like the canvas because it's just like a soft linen, cottony color. It's really nice and I adore the pops of taupe throughout the bag. I think it's so nice. And the bottom of the bag is um, entirely vegan leather and the taupe color. So the color is just it's so fresh. I just know this is going to be a really nice bag to carry every single day when my kids are going to be done with school really soon and they're going to be with me 24-7. This is, I thought, going to be the perfect bag for that. And so now let's talk about not cons necessarily, just some of my concerns about the canvas. It is canvas, which means I feel like canvas gets dirty really easily and this is a really light color and canvas is harder to clean in my opinion than you know wiping vegan leather off and based on past experiences with canvas bags that I've owned I've never gotten a stain out completely so that makes me nervous I feel like I really have to be careful with this bag and baby it and I appreciate that they put vegan leather at the bottom because if canvas was here and this is how it gets dirty the quickest. I'm glad they put the vegan leather so it's easily wipeable. But then at the same time, while canvas is more durable, you don't have to worry about, you know, chipping and scuffing. You're still going to have to worry about that happening to the vegan leather underneath. Mm. One thing I wanted to address is the way that this bag came packaged. When I pulled it out of the box, it was folded. So the bottom base was kind of folded upwards. There was a crease here and to the sides of the bag. And so initially, first impressions, I just, I didn't love the bag because it was so creased. And if any of you guys have this bag and you guys still have your creases in, um, I have a tip for you to get them out. What I did was stuff the bag with um, a baby blanket, towels, use whatever you can, just stuff the bag kind of full and then steam your bag. So I steamed all of the creases out and I think it looks so good now, you guys can see. I will include um, before and after photos. So the left photo I believe is the crease when I first pulled it out of the box and the right is going to be after steaming. So it does a really good job. If you guys are concerned about creasing, 
steam your bag and give that a try. It just looks so much better and really beautiful. So now I'm gonna move the camera down a little bit and we're gonna show you guys how I have this packed and we'll look at the inside lining color and the organization is a little bit different, but we'll get to that. So let's start with that. All right, let's take a look around the bag. Here at the bottom, you have a new logo. It's vegan leather and it has a Zarya embossed in the gold. And that's gonna be different from the vegan leather I'll show you guys here. Um, usually you just have this logo for the vegan leather. Then we'll start with this side zipper. I have always and will always love this pocket to keep my wallet. This is the Azaria wallet in the color bone. I love this thing so much. I use it every single day, haven't switched it out. It's my favorite wallet. And you guys, there's just something about this canvas material. It just feels so soft working with this bag. I feel like the bag also has a little bit more stretch to it than like the vegan leather or the Lux. And here in the front, you have the same magnetic pocket and I don't have much in there. I just have two lip products. And at the sides of the back, you have the same angular slant pockets. And here I have my phone. And what I really like about these bottle pockets, you know, with the canvas material is that it's, you know, a little bit stretchy. It's not crazy stretchy, but I can fit things in here even if the inside pocket is packed and vice versa. It's just easier to pack. You know, I don't have any issues with the pockets on the outer and inner pockets. And on this side, I don't have anything right now. And here's a look at the back. It's just so pretty. I, I just love the coloring here and the contrast. It's just such a nice accent color against the bag. And back here is not a magnetic pocket and I just have um, extra masks just in case if we're somewhere and it does require us to be wearing face masks. And the backpack straps are detachable so you can tuck them away and carry this petite bag over your shoulder or crossbody. And this is what the strap looks like. It's also in a different material. It's cotton. So it's really, really soft. And I do want to compare it to um, the vegan leather strap that you get. Again, this is like the nylon material and this is the cotton one that you get with the canvas. Let's take a look at the grab handle. You do have the vegan leather trim and underneath is going to be that cotton strap material. And just a quick look at the bottom really pretty taupe vegan leather and to get to the inside we have two-way zippers and this is what the inside looks like oh my gosh it's cotton so it's so soft it feels so different than like the vegan leather this is just really nice and i believe this is described as a taupe color but it almost kind of looks brown to me in real life. Okay guys, while I do really like the cotton and the canvas, there are some things that I don't love about the interior. And we'll touch on that in just a second. Um, so I'm just gonna start pulling things out. Let's start with this big water bottle. This is a 16 ounce bottle that I have in here. And that is inside a side elastic mesh pocket. Again, even if I have something in this side pocket, it doesn't really interfere with the outer pocket because the material is just so nice. And you know, it just has more wiggle room than the vegan leather does. And the other side, I have a second bottle. Back here, we have a magnetic slip pocket. And right now I just have two boogie boards for the kids and a coupon and two pens. This can fit an iPad or a tablet if you were curious. Now, the only thing that troubles me with this bag and makes it hard for me to kind of pack and organize is because, you know, since this is cotton, I just feel like it's less structure. Everything is floppier. You guys can kind of just see here. It just kind of flops around. Even when the um, boogie boards were in there, it just, there wasn't much structure to it. And at the side you have the usual key leash here also in the cotton. And back here we have the zipper pocket where I have a small med kit. It's really big and spacious. And then in the center I have a mini dew clutch. This is in the color bone. And in here I just have a few snacks for the kids. Okay, bringing the bag around, this is probably where I am most disappointed. In the front of the bag you have one big slip pocket as opposed to two, which you normally would have. Just wish it wasn't so floppy. Like I, I don't know, I just feel this could be more tight against this um, front wall here, but instead it kind of just flops open. I don't have that much things. This is gonna be a great spot to like lay your wipes and your diapers. I just have um, disinfectant wipes, wet wipes, tissues, hand sanitizer. So I wish it was two pockets like it would used to be, you know, the 
vegan leather or just at least tighten the elastic a little bit so it just doesn't droop because even this front part kind of droops too. You guys see what I'm saying? So everything is just floppy. I don't love that. So I wanted to quickly show you guys the interior of my vegan petite bag. You guys see you have the two pockets here. It's just much nicer that way to me and nothing is flopping around. Um, I know this is a different material than, you know, the cotton, but I just like this setup better. So here's another look at the canvas bag on the inside. So while the bag wasn't perfect all the way around, I still think Azaria did a really great job. You know, the fabric feels really good and I just really like how beautiful it is. It goes with everything and it's so comfortable to wear. And I know. Okay guys, that wraps up this review on the Azaria Canvas Petite Bag. I hope you guys found it helpful. And of course, right after this, I'll show you guys an on the body and how it looks like on me. I'm five feet tall. And if you guys had any questions about it, please go ahead and leave them down below. I'll always try my best to help you, always. So if you guys haven't already, please consider subscribing. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.